Hi, I'm Brett from Leverage Technologies, and today I'm going to take you through user interface forms editing in SAP Business One version 9.1. Let's open up our Business Partner Master Data Form. Now, very often, what our users will want is they want user defined fields added to the form, they want user fields changed in name and fields moved around on the form to be more in line with the way the users want to interact with the master data forms. So within SAP Business One, we've often made changes to the forms. For example, we can go along, let's take this form here, which says account manager, and let's change it to salesperson. Control double click, a nice, quick, easy change. Now that's not new to version 9.1, that function's been an SAP Business One for many years. But again, it allows us a nice, quick, easy change to the form. We've also been able to, with an SAP Business One, have our own user-defined fields. So now what I can see on the right-hand side here, insurance, industry, industry group, and customer type with drop-down boxes. Again, that's simply added into SAP Business One by going to my tools, customization tools, user-defined fields management. That's not new to version 9.1. That function and feature has been there for many years. But under version 9.1, what I can now do is I can go tools, edit form UI. That's a new function on the menu list under 9.1. Let's click on that. We can see it now says business partner master data UI edit mode. Now what I can do is things like I can take, for example, my user-defined field and I can move that user-defined field. Let's take customer type and I'm going to take it onto the main form. And let's just drop it over here. We'll tidy that up a bit, move it across on the main form. Now let's take industry group and we'll click on that. And again, we can move it onto the main form. So what we're seeing here is I've taken three user-defined fields being customer type, industry and industry group, and I've moved them to the main form. Now on the main form, this field here, customer group, I want to move its position. So I take it up and I move its position on the form simply to tidy the form up a little. And I'm going to take that field there and move it just slightly. So what I've been able to do is I've added user-defined fields to the form and I've changed field positions on the form. Let's now go to this region field right click and I can see it says hide or disable. I'm going to disable that form and we can now see, sorry, that field and I can now see that it's grayed out. Now what I'm going to do is let's click on the form settings. I can see a new tab UI elements under version 9.1. Let's drill down a bit and let's go to the field that says technician and I can see that that corresponds on the actual form to a field which says technician. Now what I'm going to do, if we just watch that form closely, that field, I'm going to go along and I'm going to untick the field so that it disappears off the form. So to recap on what we've seen, we've taken user-defined fields and we've added them to the main form. We've moved fields around on the main form and we've disabled a field and taken a field off the form altogether. These types of changes which are available under SAP Business One version 9.1 just add to the usability of the application by giving the users an interface that they want and that they can find it easy to capture the right information into various forms. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Please don't forget that there's a lot of additional information available on the Leverage Tech website at leveragetech.com.au. Thanks for joining us.